Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. New campus coming for Alabama Aerospace and Aviation High School. Some check pilots and flight instructors no longer need medical certificate. Diamond Aircraft makes banner deal with Turkish Airlines Flight Academy. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. New campus coming for Alabama Aerospace and Aviation High School. The Alabama Aerospace and Aviation High School enrolled its first 9th and 10th grade students to begin classes in the fall of 2022. Just two years later, the school broke ground on a new campus at the Bessemer Municipal Airport in Bessemer, Alabama. The school is the first aviation, aerospace, and STEM-focused public charter school in the state. And it's free to attend. School founder Reuben Morris was born and educated in Birmingham, dreaming of becoming a commercial pilot. He graduated from Morehouse College in 2004 and earned his master's degree at the University of Denver in Colorado. While in Denver, he also taught in the Denver Public Schools and the KIPP Sunshine Peak Academy, a free public charter middle school. At KIPP, he absorbed the philosophy and advantages of public charter schools. After moving back to Alabama, he became inspired by his son's interest in flying helicopters. Motivated as well by his own desire to establish a school similar to KIPP, which he considered the, quote, gold standard of college readiness programs, end quote, he founded the AAHS and serves as its CEO. After the break, pilots and management of PAL Aerospace reach agreement. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Pilots and management of PAL Aerospace reach agreement. Pilots flying for Canada-based PAL Aerospace voted by a large margin to ratify a three-year contract. The group is represented by ALBA and said it was the first ever collective agreement for them. The agreement includes competitive compensation, stronger protections for job security, better benefits, and improvements in working conditions and scheduling methods. PAL Aerospace provides maritime airborne surveillance, charter, air ambulance, and aircraft management services. It also supports the Dutch Caribbean Coast Guard. Embry-Riddle students embark on Eclipse study with NASA. A student team from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University just capped off a two-year project with NASA's nationwide eclipse ballooning project, yielding data about the behaviors of stratospheric phenomena during a solar eclipse. They weren't the only ones lending a hand, with additional student researchers coming in from Montana State University and NASA to help with the project. FAA approves second Las Vegas airport. Some GA training relief may be in sight for Vegas flyers. Folks in the Las Vegas, Nevada aerospace ecosystem may gain an additional airport, now that the FAA has approved plans to develop a field 31 miles west of Harry Reid International. The FAA anticipates the usual GA mix to operate there. The airport will sport a single runway, though that will likely change in time as needs shift. Today, the project holds about $10 million in funding from investors, but they've said they need another $20 million in order to meet their first funding goal. Training exhibition of Drones for Opposition Forces Unit is successful. 
Ag Eagle Aerial System successfully completed a training exhibition for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment at Fort Irwin, California. The exhibition was a display of the capability of Ag Eagle's EB Vision for ISR and EB TAC for multispectral imaging and mapping. The exhibit demonstrated all elements of the aerial systems, drone hardware, sensors, and control software, and also included multiple flights, BB loss. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Some Czech pilots, flight instructors no longer need medical certificate. A final rule just published by the FAA provides relief for Czech pilots and flight instructors in Part 135 commuter and on-demand operators who are performing those duties in aircraft, so they are no longer required to have a medical certificate. The rule also clears up inconsistencies in different areas of the regulations for medical certificate requirements for those serving as required flight crew members or not, and also inconsistencies between requirements for Part 121 and Part 135 operators. Under the previous rule, Part 135 operators often were faced with difficulties and delays finding flight instructors and check pilots who had the requisite knowledge, skills, and experience, but were not medically eligible. The new rule clarifies that check pilots and flight instructors are required to have the appropriate medical only when serving as required flight crew members in an aircraft. NBAA has voiced its support for the new rule. Melanie Height Biao, charter captain and Part 135 training instructor at Open Air, said, quote, this final rule will be well received by the industry after years of challenges related to availability of Czech pilots." End quote. After these messages, Diamond Aircraft makes banner deal with Turkish Airlines Flight Academy. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows actually, so ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. Diamond Aircraft makes banner deal with Turkish Airlines Flight Academy. Turkish Airlines Flight Academy has made one of the biggest Diamond Aircraft hauls of the year, taking delivery of a pair of brand new DA-426s and placing an order for 13 aircraft more. The order includes half a dozen DA-40NGs, another seven DA-426s, and a pair of convertible simulators. The DA-40 DA-42 FNPT-2 allows accurate, realistic simulation for students and instructors in either aircraft, giving students in the instrument phase of learning a much cheaper, safer place to make their beginner's mistakes. All in all, the Turkish Airlines Flight Academy fleet now sports 26 diamonds, with a surprising breakdown of 12 single-engine DA-40s and 14 twin-engine DA-42s. The sixes make for a pretty affordable twin, eschewing the traditional avgas in favor of Jet A thanks to their Austro engine AE300s. Academy CEO Ibrahim Zikai Akir spoke highly of their new equipment. Quote, Turkish Airlines Flight Academy is dedicated to training top quality pilots to meet our airline's growing needs. The new Diamond Aircraft Simulators will enhance our training programs as the identical cockpits of the DA-40, DA-42 Sims will ensure seamless transition to real flight operation, reflecting our commitment to excellence in pilot training." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.